Hey, what's up? My name is Jeremy, AKA Swopoke. I'm here at PSA today to show off some of my favorite cards. I tried to bring cards that really um, encapsulate what I enjoy collecting. Some of them being signature cards and then some of them just being very niche Japanese promos. The first card I brought today is a PSA created an authenticated first edition base set Porygon. This is actually one of the first autographs I ever personally got signed at the 2019 World Championship. This card is signed by Tomoaki Imakuni. He is actually one of the original artists, developers, one of the minds that helped kind of form what Pokemon is today. Little known fact, he actually drew some of the original 151 Pokemon cards. And so when I met him, I obviously had to get the Porygon signed by him. This one's just cool because it's a fun memory. It was the first world championship I ever flew to for Pokemon. And it's just fun to have that in my collection. The next card I have here is a Mew from EX Holland Phantoms, signed by Ken Sugimori, the godfather of Pokemon. He was pretty much the reason why we have Pokemon today. Originally back in, I think, 1996 or 97, he was given just little 8-bit sprites of every single Pokemon, and he had to imagine and draw what they look like today. So thanks to him, we have Pikachu, Charizard, Mew, all these Pokemon in the form that they are. The reason why this card in Signature is so significant is because Ken Sugimori has not done a public signing since 2007. Um, he's just kind of been off the radar. So any sort of card, product, merchandise signed by him is very hard to find. It's very sought after in the collecting universe. And another cool fun fact about this is Ken Sugimori is known for signing his name with a Pikachu sketch on every card. But with this particular card, he actually drew a Mew, which is the first and last time I've ever seen it. This might be the only card he's ever actually drawn a Mew sketch on it. And finding a sketch of anything other than a Pikachu on a card is is very significant. The next card I brought today is from the 2007 World Championship in Hawaii, and it is signed by Hironobu Yoshida. This is by far my favorite card in my collection. This is the card that does not have a price that I could never see myself parting with. Hironobu Yoshida is a sleeping giant, man. He drew and designed so many Pokemon cards. Similar to Ken Sugimori, he has not done a public signing I think since 2015. He was at the 2015 World Championship, before that 2007, and since then, he has not made a public appearance. So his autograph is extremely hard to come by, and to top it off, he signed probably the best card imaginable. A Rocket Energy from the EX Team Rocket Return Set, signed by Takumi Akabane. Man, he is the whole reason why we even have the trading card game. I believe he was in charge of the game mechanics, the rules, the artwork, the everything that goes into the actual Pokemon card game, um, Akebane was in charge of. A little cool fun fact about him, he also was the artist who drew about 90% of all the energy cards um, when we were growing up. So a lot of those cards you threw away, he was the artist behind them. What's so significant about this is it's a double PSA 10. It's a PSA Gem Mint 10 for the actual physical card and an auto 10. So a double PSA 10 to me is like a unicorn. Next up, this is kind of a double whammy. So we have a two for one special here. We have the PSA 10 Japanese Gold Star Mew and Charizard from Dragon Frontiers. These are extremely, extremely hard cards to grade. I don't know what made me decide to collect this set, but I actually became the first person to finish the PSA 10 Unlimited set on both the PSA registry and I think just in the collecting world. A lot of these cards are in played condition, off-centered, like I said, hard to grade. These are two significant cards because they kind of just showed to me that a lot of persistence will get you the cards that you're, you want in a PSA 10. Probably the biggest card in my collection is a PSA 10 first edition Shadowless Charizard. I honestly don't know what to say about it. <laughs> it's a big card. Honestly, if you would have talked to me when I was 5, 10, 15, 20, all of these big ages in my life, I would have never ever dreamt of having this card. It's just iconic. I think everyone and their mom knows what a Charizard is. Everyone wants one and I somehow am lucky enough to have this in my collection. So enjoy the view people.